Hey guys, test play game of Corporation, also known as Cybercop. It is an early first person RPG. Uh, it was released in 1991. And yeah, this is uh, actually, I think, 1990. The DOS version is in 1991. So yeah, this is kind of considered like a predecessor to games like System Shock or Deus Ex because it's a sci fi first person RPG. But this one is even earlier, right, than, than even System Shock, which is uh, that's something. So, anyways, check it out. Um, See, we can, oh, see, I can't even use my mouse. I actually use my <laughs> my arrow keys to move this uh, cursor around. And see, we can just choose some of the guys here, I think. This is being kind of like an RPG. So you can choose Steve Summer or Donna Jackson or Droid, Rick Allen, Tony Carter, or Droid 2. Okay. Or Droid 1 or Core Droid 2. Interesting. So they have different stats. Strength, Dex, Endurance, Intelligence, Movement, Weight, Height. We have even Retina Scan. <laughs> we have the different skills. So this is actually really ambitious for a game from 1990. Like this is a really early sci-fi RPG stuff. Okay, so um, let's see. Cordroid 2 seems to have pretty good stats across the board. Yeah, all the, both these core droids seem to have much more powerful stats than the humans. I'm going to pick core droid 2. Okay. Do I uh, load game, I guess? Is the way <laughs> yeah, okay, that's to start the game. It's not actually not to load the game, it's to start the game. This, this is a very, very early first person RPG. You can tell how primitive it looks. We have to use the. We have to use the little uh, directional pad here to move. Can't just use uh, any keys. We have to use this little directional pad. Oh my god. Very clunky. But you know, that's expected. This is from 1991, 1990. You know, so first person shooters weren't really a thing at that time. Okay, um, let's just look around. Oh, this is to adjust the height. It's adjusting the height. What's this? Play dead? What does this play dead button do? Hmm. Okay, I don't know what that does. And this is like pick up, I guess. What is this numpad? Mm. I don't know what number I'm supposed to put here. Insert some kind of key card. Man, this is a confusing game. Dementia. This is dementia for some reason. And there's some numbers here. 94. 94994. Yeah, what does that mean? Name droid dementia nine four nine nine four. See what what does this all mean? Five. What what is this? How do I get back to the? What is this? Is this calculator button? Oh my god, this is so confusing. What does the repair icon do? Okay. Oh my god. This game is pretty hard to control. And this is my weapon. But how do I even move around? This is... This is crazy. Am I in a room somewhere? Yeah, I'm in a room somewhere. This is, okay, it looks like this is the only way to go, that door thing. Except I don't know what to put, what number to put on there. And what is that noise? Oh my god. So this is like what I can see, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. There's a, okay. Did I use the door? Is it open now? Oh my God. How did I go through this? Oh, no, it's not open anymore. Oh, what's going on? It was open and now it's not. Oh, what's going on here? 
Oh my god, so hard. It's this is so hard to control. Okay, th what is this? Pick that up. Okay, what is this? Can you use that? Okay, so now we've got the keypad again. What do I input here? Five, lift, five. Okay, can we use this? Insert card. How do I insert a card? Hmm. I'm really afraid I don't know how to play this. It looks interesting, but this, this game looks ambitious and interesting, but I have no idea how to play it. This seems pretty hard to play. Like what is what card am I inserting here? <clears throat> I don't know what to put here and the buttons don't do anything. And I press this lying on the ground button and it takes me to a space. What is that what does that mean? This line down button takes me to space. I don't understand. Let's get closer to this. Oh, okay, I can finally go through that corridor, it looks like. It looks like that was just a door I could just go through. Oh, shoot. Okay, there's a guy here. Let's, let's, oh, I'm firing some kind of missile at him. Firing a missile. Hello there. I'm firing some kind of missile, it's not working. Oh, there's some other guy shooting at me. Shit. Oh, this guy, okay. Take this. Oh, no, I got hands now. No, I got it out of my hands. <clears throat> I'll take you out with my hands then. Take this. Take this. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh my god, these controls are so bad. Take this. <laughs> this is like, oh my god, did I die? This is like the worst control I've seen in a... I mean, I, I give it a pass because this is such an early game, but... Man, these controls. Probably the worst I've seen in a freaking first-person shooter. I mean, Catacomb Abyss came out... Uh, I think around the same time as this game, right? In Catacomb Abyss or in Catacomb 3D are much better controlling than this game. They control much better. Oh my god. Like, the fact that you have to use this little thing. There's like a spider, I think. Is kind of spider here? There's a spider there. Hmm. How come this room looks different? This room looks different than the one I started in before? Okay. I don't I don't get I don't understand. What is this thing? Oh, no, I just got fists again. I'm in a room with a bunch of spiders. A room with a bunch of spiders. Okay, let's see. Pick up. Nope. This takes me to space again. Nope. Don't want that. Oh, am I in a room that I can't get out? Looks like I'm in a room I just can't get out. And it's like a chair. And... What is this? And the slimes? What is going on here? I'm in a room. So once I died, I guess, I'm in a room with slimes and I can't get out and I'm getting hurt. See, I can tell I'm taking damage, but I don't even know how to deal with these guys. All I got is a fist. Oh no, I have no idea, dude. This game is really weird. Heck, there's a slime. 
like spider robots, I guess. Bunch of spider robots. Oh, I'm dead. Incarcerated with corporation, you have only one means of escape. <clears throat> so I'm incarcerated. I guess I got caught by those robots and I got sent to, I guess, jail. And this is jail and I don't know how to get out. God. Okay, I'm stuck in this jail cell with a bunch of spiders and slime and stuff. And I don't know how to get out. Just great. This is what happens when you, you get killed by the robots, I guess. Alright, um, I'm going to pick someone different this time. So, let's see, let's pick a human this time. Uh, Rick, Donna, Jackson, Steve Summer. I'm going to pick Rick Allen. There. And that's my gun. Gun 1, gun 2. Ooh, I can pick my gun. Nice power pack. Grenade, stun bomb, bomb, lock pick, jet pack. Ooh, jet pack. Gas mask, face. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff to choose from. Pfizer, drink. Refill, medikit, chemicals, narcotics, first aid, or armor one, armor two, armor three, armor four, bionic arm, bionic leg, exoskeleton, implant, course, course, looks like a degree, okay, um, hmm, there's so many things to choose from here, huh, I guess, uh, I'll pick a gun, this one looks right, right out of Star Wars. That looks like a Star Wars gun. Uh, yeah, I'll pick this one. <clears throat> Set and exoskeleton would be nice. Can you get one of that? Go gun three, watch it. Okay, pick my stuff here. Let's get armor four. They're not set that one. Nope. There, okay, armor one. Maybe I don't have enough. Credits or something. First aid? Nope. That's, that would be useful. Narcotics. Medkit? Nope. Visor? Nope. Uh, jetpack would be nice. Nope. Oh, computer? Nope. Okay, I guess this is all I can choose from because it doesn't let me choose anymore. Okay, gun three, compass, watch, smart card, armor one, and exoskeleton. Let's try that. Set. Load? Load game. Why can't I load it? What is going on here? I can't even load it. Accept. Load game. Nope. Didn't let me load. Now it lets me load. Okay, so let me start off with this again. This time we're just going to go through. Let's go through the store. Yep, right away. No need to look around. The weird thing is like it's, it's like I'm skating on ice or something. Well, don't I have a gun? Thought I had a gun. This guy's firing up, come on. I thought I had a gun. Oh. Oh. But don't send me to the jail cell again. That would be terrible. At least the, the robot had a had a weapon. How come I don't have a gun to fire with? Does that guy even hurt me? What is this thing? Pick up. See? What is this thing? Hmm. Like my own have dementia. Okay. What's this to do here? And I, I thought I had a gun. Where's my gun that I bought? Equipment. I mean like oh shit. Get off me. Get off me, little bugger. Where's my equipment? There we go. I have a gun, right? No, what? What the heck? I have a gun and I'm still using hands? How do I fire this gun? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh, I can move around here easier now. <clears throat> Mm 
eat this. Okay, so I just have to beat you with my fists. Oh, come on. Well, I'm gonna beat you with my fists. Oh, he's dead. I beat him with my fists. See, I have a gun and I don't know how to use it. A weird thing. I have a gun and I don't know how to use it. Another one here. I have med kits too, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> I died. Okay, let's try... Let me try the droid again. I think I, um... Try core droid one this time. I think they're more powerful than the humans. The humans seem really weak. Yeah. Yeah, at least the at least these guys have a gun. Yeah. Okay, so I think how this works is I, I put my cursor somewhere here and it like continues to go there for some reason. Until I stop it by putting it in the middle. I don't know how this works. Anyways. It's like I gotta stop it by doing this. Shoot. How come I can't? Oh my god, are they firing from behind him? Is that why? Okay, I think I destroyed him. There's some robots firing from behind him, I think. That's what he's taking damage from. The controlling so hard here. Basically, I'm just holding down space bar to control. Seems a little bit easier. Oh. The annoying noise. The entire game, the sound effect happens. God damn, come on. I know there's some robots. Gotta kill some robots. Nope. Well, let's get to the door. Get to the hallway. Oh, there's a robot. I see it. See the robots. Let's turn up. Here. Come on. Ah. Yeah, destroyed him. Another robot there. Dead. See this? Droid is actually doing a lot better than that human was. Well, actually, I, I I had a gun, right? But I just didn't know how to use it. Mm. Well, I just selected her. I don't know. I selected it, actually. I just didn't know how to use it. Oh, shit. Where's that, where's that robot? God, it's like I'm skating on ice. Here. Dead. Oh. What are these guys? These cards here. It doesn't seem to do. They don't seem to do much. They don't seem to hurt me. Hmm. Oh. More robots. Shoot! Stop! Stop! Oh no. Now I'm incarcerated in this this kind of uh now I'm in jail, I guess, and I I have no idea what to do here. So anyways, guys, <laughs> that's it. That's corporation.
Um, this is a, it's a very ambitious, I think, uh, early sci-fi FPS game. Um, what well, kind of like predates System Shock and everything else, but, but man, is it hard to control and I, it's confusing and everything. Very hard to control and confusing, but I have to give it props just for being ambitious, I guess, uh, for being like an early, you know, FPS RPG, but man, it's so difficult to control. Yeah, I mean, even for the time, it's not really acceptable. Look, I'm taking damage. This, this, I don't even know how to get out, and you take damage because there's all sorts of pe things in here, slimes and spiders and everything. You have no idea about how to get out. Yeah, the controls are really annoying, and this is... Yeah, uh, I know it's an early FPS game, but at least Catacomb Abyss did it right. Right, but that's its software. So, anyways, guys, Corporation. Um... You guys can check it out just for fun, for kicks. I don't know if anyone, I don't know anyone that's a huge fan of this game, so. but it's it's an interesting, it's a historical artifact kind of thing. So guys, thanks for watching.